Hi guys. Back again, and what I'm doing here is I'm trying to see if I can control the controller, this cheap Chinese uh, controller, using an external uh, voltage source. And what I mean by that is, um, in a standard setup, your uh, throttle connection comes in here, or comes in here, goes to your throttle. Whenever you turn that, it sends uh, a 5 volt signal from onto this white wire. So basically you've got a normal standard setup, you've got a black wire is negative, red wire is positive, 5 volts, and the white wire is your sensor wire. So if you put 5 volts or somewhere between 1 and 5 volts onto this white wire, it drives the uh, the controller and as you increase the voltage it increases the speed of the motor. So what I'm doing here is I've just set up a quick demonstration or a quick uh, uh, experiment just to see if we can um, use an external 5 volt source to power the controller. The reason I'm doing this is because if you've seen my other videos, you'll know I'm not happy with the um, the cadence control in my uh, Volamart e-bike. Um, in fact, it's so hopeless I've actually got to com disconnect it completely. So, the theory is if I was able to figure out a way of putting 5 volts onto the controller, I could uh, take use the cadence sensor to control an Arduino and use the Arduino to control the 5 volts going into the motor. So that's what this is about. Ignore the fact that I'm using an alternator as the motor for this. Um, that's just just happens to be the only motor I had handy. Um, but basically what that is, um, is just consider this as a standard e-bike motor. Nothing special. Um, the only difference between this motor and a standard e-bike motor is that this doesn't have hall sensors and it needs an external 10 volts to uh, activate the windings because there's no uh, magnets built into it. So that's the setup and what the meter for is for the multimeter is hopefully going to tell us um, what the voltage is um, going into the, the uh, controller. So I've just hit zero there. These things are useless sometimes. I'll just turn it off and on. And select DC. Okay, so what I've done is I have disconnected the standard throttle connector um, and instead I have it wound, follow this round, it goes into this and what this is, if I can get in there, that is a little sensor. It's a hull sensor, which um, that gives a voltage between not and four and a half volts, something like that, um, depending on whether you have a magnet close to it or not. Um, so what we're going to do is, or what I've got, what I've already done so far is I've got this connector is going to the uh, the controller so from the whole sensor going to the controller um, but I don't have any pause on it I only have the negative negative and sensor wires so what I'm going to do now in fact I don't even have a um, I don't even have a negative going to it I'm going to uh, I've got the sensor wire which is going straight to the controller so what I'm going to do now is introduce pause and neg from this battery it's just a four volt battery and we'll see what happens. Right, so with no magnet anywhere near the whole sensor, we're getting two volts there and the motor's running. So what I've got is a standard hard drive magnet. So if I put that there, So what seems to be happening is when you don't have a magnet anywhere near the hall sensor, you get two volts um, going to the 
controller, which is driving the motor at about half speed. And as soon as I as soon as I take that magnet away, you see. And if I put, I don't know whether that's south or north, and put into the to the hall sensor. But uh, when I put one end of the magnet to the hall sensor, it stops. And if I move it very slowly across. Uh, can't really do it slowly enough, but if I take it away very slowly, I'm just raising it up slowly, we get half speed, and if I put it back down again, it's going up to full speed now, and the voltage there is 3.3 volts, take it away again. We get two volts. So that's it. It looks like we can put uh, an external five volt source to the uh, controller, and we should be able to control it that way. So that's step one. I figured out I can do it. Just know how to figure out how to do it. I'll just turn this off. That's the only reason that was still connected, by the way, was because the switch, um, the switch wire was switching the uh, positive for the controller. So, anyway, that's it. Um, next step is to see if we can uh, control this a little bit better. Maybe take away this this uh, battery here and replace that with a. Um, converter or something like that, something with a pot on it so we can actually adjust the voltage slowly and bring it up and take away this whole sensor and so on. So that's where we're at. Hopefully when we come back we'll have a, a something a little bit more uh, easily controlled. Bye for now.